Hi, I'm Dr. Chip Milhuff. Welcome back to Ask a Child Therapist. Our topic this month is medication and myths. And I've got another question from a parent. So the question goes as follows. Uh, my son is really struggling with ADHD, but some other parents have told me that the side effects of most psychiatric medications are worse than the original symptoms. My son really needs help, but I'm not sure what to do. So we see this a lot in the clinic where people come in and, or even they're, they're talking maybe with their pediatrician or their, fan, uh, their therapist about medication. And there's a number of things that you can read online or hear from your friends or relatives about medication. And um, we want to hear those concerns and, uh, um, you know, uh, sort through that with people. And just because you're coming to see one of our psychiatrists or nurse practitioner prescribers doesn't mean we're going to decide that medication is the route we're going to go. So for this particular boy with ADHD, we look at our meetings as an opportunity to discuss not just medicine, but other interventions and how we can most effectively reach the goals that we're trying to get to. So we're going to begin by looking at um, the diagnosis. We're going to look at what all has been done to try to intervene. Maybe a there's other behavioral strategies that have not been trialed. We really want to try that first before we get to the medication. Okay, so let's say you've tried a bunch of things and you decided, okay, I want to look at medicine as an option. In our clinic, what we want people to understand is that uh, making an informed decision about the medicine is very important. And this doesn't just go for the parent or guardian, it's also for the child. And so we think that you should understand what the benefits are from the medicine, what the risks are, and also what the alternatives are to the medication. And then when you got that information, also understand we're going to start low and on the dosage and go very carefully because we don't want to create problems. We just want good responses. And so when it comes to these ADHD medicines, it, it is, a, it is a, a trial of medication. And um, if we get into trouble, we can back off and the, the, the side effects will go away. Um, and so... Uh, we don't want to pressure people to make a decision. We want to give you the information so you can make an informed decision about what to do for your child. And then once we get into the treatment, we also very much want to be available to people for any questions or concerns that should arise. Okay, that's all for this week. I'll see you next week for the final November installment of Ask a Child Therapist.